So there are a lot of aspects of Google that can do a lot of things. And like we said, most of them are free. And if you think about, oh, I pay Microsoft $15 a month and I pay Adobe 24 and I pay, when you start thinking about all these little things that add up at the end of the year, you can sometimes look up to a thousand, five thousand. I've seen people with $10,000 bills to services that they use that they didn't have to spend money on if they had used Google. Hi everyone, welcome to Behind the Booth. I'm Jade and with me as always is my co-host and award-winning producer, Heather. I love to hear award-winning. I should actually put my award up so you guys can see it. It's gold and shiny and it's beautiful. Um, but okay, so this is a channel where we talk about how to be a Comic-Con vendor and all the wild stories that come with that because we have a lot and we're so excited doing this podcast because we get to tell everybody about the crazy shit that happens to us because you wouldn't believe but we are comic-con vendors jade has her own booth tokyo dog designs and she has all those beautiful things behind her it's colorful it's bright it's fun we would love to meet you we have a link with a list of all the conventions that we're going to be at coming up and please if you see us if you're going to be at a convention please come say hi to us because we would love to meet you and talk to you um, but today we're actually going to talk about um it sounds a little dry but it's very important because um i like we both come from actually like a virtual assistant background and being organized is like you you can't run your business you can't do you just can't what, what we're doing you can't unless you're mm -hmm. organized unless you have a mm -hmm. system in place and so we're actually going to talk about google because google is all <laughs> google has everything that you could possibly need so let's talk about how to utilize that um to the best that it can so one of the things you always have to worry about as a business owner is cash flow. Uh, what you have going out versus what you have going in and what your expenses look like. The reason I think you and I use Google so much is because it is free and it can do pretty much everything. Uh, it's highly competitive with other programs out there and they really want to be the go-to place. That is like their model. The other benefit of Google is that you can collaborate very easily. You can share documents, you can have people working on different things, and it is a relatively easy platform to get on. And you can ask most people, hey, do you have a Google account? Do you have Gmail? And I think most people say yes. I've rarely come across someone who's like, oh, I still use Outlook, like, okay, dinosaur. Um, so when it comes to Google, there are some really helpful things. You can pretty much get whatever email address works for you. Uh, at Gmail is actually, I'm seeing it more and more into integrations like um, Roku. Like when you go in and type your email address, it has like at Gmail or at Yahoo mm -hmm. or at Hotmail or whatever. Um, I actually signed for a receipt the other day at Nordstrom's and they had for the receipt to be emailed at Google as one of the options, yeah. which made it really easy. Um, and then all the things when I talk about signing up for this hotel app or, you know, getting your um, digital tickets through this app, I signed up with all of that through the same email and I use the Google login for a lot of my logins. Now, so cybersecurity might tell you that that's a bad idea. Um, that is neither here nor there for me. Um, I I trust a lot of that security stuff to be done on my behalf, but again, I also use two point authentication. Anytime I sign into something, I have to get a text message and verify it. That's how I protect myself, but that's not going to work for everybody. But how I sign into Canva, how I sign into Marriott.com, how I sign into Travelocity, any of these things that I use all come from Google. And even the podcast we're talking about right now, Heather made a Google account for it that we both have access to the documents where we like I talk about when I'm in the airport and I have nothing else to do and I need to update things, I will get on that and start adding in episode ideas, giving context, or even going through her, um, the podcast that she's posted and grabbing things with like, okay, we posted that one on the 18th, we posted that one on the 23rd. And I can go in and do this other work that just needs to be done because we have things that just have to be done. When I talk about a lot of times where I say, like, if you get a receipt that's handwritten, take a picture of it and save it in Google, there's a reason for that, because I have a file for my tax guy that I share just only that file with him that has my spreadsheets of all my taxes and all the picture receipts that he needs to verify in case I get audited by the IRS. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of reasons to utilize Google. Um, what feature do you like best, Heather? 
Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm just going to go through because there's, you can do pretty, like you said, you can do pretty much anything through Google. You have your own Google account. If you're on Chrome, I don't use other web browsers because obviously Google is king. Um, and so <laughs> I use Chrome. And when you're signed into your account, it has this little grid of dots. You click on that grid of dots. It brings down everything that you can do through Google. You can make a, I act, my website is actually built through Google sites. So I don't pay for a website. It's, you know, it's not the prettiest. It's a free website, but it also, it's a free website. And I actually have one that I can send people to. You can obviously have your Gmail account. You can have Google drive where you have all of your files that you can share with everybody. You can make a form so that if you're wanting to get testimonials from people if you're wanting to see what people are going to be at what events all that kind of stuff can be done through google there's a million other things that i i haven't even done right like there's so many other options for you to use through google to just make your life easier i love having everything in one place because you can you can access google from anywhere like if you if for some reason you're on a trip and your laptop breaks down you can go to the hotel and onto their little mm -hmm. computer station and you can sign into your Google. You'll still get that, you know, that two factor authentication because Google's always like, is this you? I don't know. And yeah. so you have to make sure this is that's which, my purse. I don't know yeah. you, you know, <laughs> which is good, right? Like, that's a good thing. I'd rather they do that than just be like, oh, whatever. I guess some lady in Florida just wants my Gmail account, you know, and then they don't make sure that it's you. It's good that they do that. Um, but you're able to access it. And once you sign into that, you have access to everything that you've been doing. And then, and then you can sign into everything else that you have that Gmail account as the login. Like it's just, it, I love having everything in one place because I have worked with, with people, um, and even myself where everything was kind of patchworked together right everything is just kind of like oh you have this over here and you have this over here because that's free and that's discounted and that kind of stuff and google everything is free until you start to like build up storage and then you start having to pay yeah. for that but even that is Business pretty suite. cheap yeah those things can start to add up for sure when you go on the professional yeah. level but when you're starting out you might start out with nothing or you're still doing your current job while trying to build this other thing and you're trying to save money to go to events and parking's $25 at the Gaylord of the Rockies or whatever happens to be. This is all money that's leaving. And to not have monthly money leaving can really be a saving grace. Uh, I know one of the main things I use through Google for running my business is the email and the phone number. I use the phone number Ooh, to text yes. and take phone calls. And as soon as you register your LLC, which we talked about in another episode, uh, that goes into a database where a lot of people will basically fish for information and try to sell you stuff, either business to business, or it could be fraudulent, um, but you're officially licensed with a local database that everyone has access to. And so I have that one instead of my personal number. So when I get calls in, you know, Google already filters them for spam. I can block them from there. I've had people that have contacted me because I was going to events saying, hey, we're the event coordinator for this. And there's a $250 uh, electrical fee and we need to get that paid today. I contacted the event. I was like, hey, I just got this. And I was able to forward them the voicemail, the mm -hmm. phone number. I took screenshots of everything because, again, it's on my computer and or on my phone i could screenshot everything send it to them they're like yeah that totally isn't us and so they sent out an email to everyone saying hey there's some fraudulent shit going on don't talk to anybody but us because they said yeah. they were from this other um, expo so google has some really great free things and it's fairly well protected i'm not going to say it's perfect they've had security breaches honestly nowadays everyone has yeah the ability to share stuff with other people is very very helpful the login thing is super helpful um, I've actually had it where I was at an event and my sign got damaged by TSA because sometimes they suck and I needed another sign and I had no way to get one, but the hotel I was staying at has a business center. Almost every single hotel will have a business center. It might suck, but they almost always have a printer and a computer. And so I logged into Google, printed off a new sign from Canva. Canva, if you want to sponsor us, talk behind the booth. Email at us at talkbehindtheboo at gmail.com. Our Gmail account, Gmail, Google, if gmail. you want to sponsor us. <laughs> Yeah. And Google sponsors some weird shit, by the way. Yeah. So, you know, like they sponsored some of the first class seating inside of a bus we were in. And so whatever, yeah. uh, even though it doesn't matter where you sit on the bus. Um, so anyways, you know, I was able to go in, print off what I needed and I was able to log out. Be sure to log out. I actually get on computers all the time where people are still logged in. I do them courtesy yeah. of like signing them out and then deleting 
that because sometimes they'll save their email and login. Yeah, don't do that on a computer. Don't that do is that public. on a shared computer. My gosh, like that. I mean, you know, you're like, it's only as safe as, yeah, you can make it safe. Like you, you can, can make, make it safe, safer, as safe as possible that you can do. Like just yeah. log out. You all have been log to out. school with shared and computers. Then, just log out. Be if you see somebody's logged in, try to do the right thing and you know log them out. Try to be nice to them. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't send things to like their lawyers and their wives and shit. That's kind of a dick move, um, which I've seen people doing that, which is awful. Um, yeah. So I did have the ability to print off signs that I needed. The hotel had tape. I mean, I was able to work through the issues that I was having because TSA was a little rough with my things. And TSA is a whole other episode, probably in the future. Enough mm -hmm. shit keeps happening to me. That'll be a fun one. Um, what else do we want to say about Gmail, Heather? Use it it's so it's so it's also really easy to use too like there's not a steep learning curve it is very user friendly and then also you can google any questions that you have they have an amazing they don't have a help desk really you can't like chat with somebody i mean maybe you can i don't know i've never been able to but they yeah. have like forums and a huge like help center and you basically just google exactly what's wrong exactly what you want it to do and they'll they'll be like oh yeah this is how you do that um and i've had plenty of contracts that come in from other people where they just share it with me as google drive or they'll share their media kits um which we'll probably talk about in a later episode but if it's like hey do you want to post on social media here choose from this media kit fan expo does a great job with that which i use their media kit like crazy where i'm able to drop down these um various jpegs or pdfs or whatever i want to use and i'm able to put together a post specifically about that um, there's also ways where you can get um, affiliate links and people will send those to you via Google and they'll have a locked file that you can access. Um, it's not going to be the same kind of locked files like LegalZoom or any of those things where they're timed and you have to get in with a specific password or anything like that. Um, but file sharing is great. Uh, having the shared documents can be very, very helpful too. Like I said, I've done lots of applications through that and that's where I also store all of my stuff. So if I'm on the road, and I need to fill out an application for a show I want to do, I just grab Google Drive and I either link my booth information to that Google Drive and say, you can go here to see all of my information, or believe it or not, you can download it and attach it to an email because it's right there. So I don't have to go to my personal computer when I get back and fill this out because as we've talked about before, events fill it fast. So you can't always get in. Um, the last thing about Google that I, I really want to um, emphasize that I use all right, so one of the biggest things that I use and Jade uses um, with Google is the calendar because you can like you can basically create as many Gmail accounts as you have. I have like seven. I don't even know why. I have so many freaking email addresses. Um, I've got but you five. can <laughs> right? It's ridiculous. I'm like, why do I have all this? Um, but you can create it. You have a Google Calendar and you're able to share it with people. You're able to collaborate when when we're recording these episodes, we can um, invite each other to the the recording and I have the link for the Zoom in there and everything. Um, when and we're going to go to this. events. Mm -hmm. I want to share about this really quick, Heather. Sorry to cut you off. Heather does this with her Zoom is that she puts the link into the Google Drive with mm -hmm. the invitation. So all I have to do is click on that and it will take us there. I cannot tell you how many people fuck this up. And when they try to do invitations to things, it's the wrong time zone, it's the wrong location. You don't have the information that you need. And there's a note section that we use like crazy um, mm -hmm. between the two of us and we color code everything. Uh, again, that might be a little OCD, but I am so grateful to Heather when she does our appointments that she has the link embedded in. So thank yeah. you. Yeah, no, it just makes it easy. And it can be a little frustrating when like people because you can still like send a Google Calendar invite to people. But if they don't use Google Calendar, then they'll be like, where's the link? And then you still have to email them. So it's um, it's kind of a, that is kind of annoying. But like we said, most people have it like and they will be able to access it, just making it as easy as pop possible. I have gotten a lot of um, I used to have another podcast where I would interview people a lot and in the Google Calendar invite I would actually have like this is what you need to be ready for this is what you need to have this is what you need to do you can put a whole notes section in a Google Calendar invite and then so that you don't have to answer a million questions unless they don't read it which is what a lot of people do sadly and we have talked about this a lot read, read. the freaking emails read <laughs> read everything they send it to you for a reason and they're mm -hmm. and you're gonna be busy but anyway 
that's that's a whole other thing uh we should just do an episode that's just how to read everything and make sure that you're paying attention goodness gracious um but no google like google calendar is i think is one of the things i use the most i use it with Mm -hmm. my family my husband and i have a shared google calendar so we each know what the other person is going to be doing you know i mean and we have kids we have to make sure that like they're not just floating and nobody knows where they are (laughs) and i know that this is going to sound really preppy and super karen but i actually have a dog sitter um that comes by and i share with him the events that i'm going to be out of town so he knows when i need somebody i mean david basically said he's like why does the dog have a fucking au pair i was like she needs to be watched because yeah. not that she's going to do anything or damage anything, but she was a service dog that's not retired. And David is gone for like 12 hours. And that's, in my opinion, too long for a dog to go without to be completely um, being alone. at least let out. Yeah. Um, Cause that's, that's cruel. Um, so he knows what's going on with Google calendar. And I know this is going to sound crazy, but I use Google contacts all the time for some of my things like my Marriott's rewards number. Mm-hmm. It's as mm-hmm. long as my social and I've already got enough things on my brain. I literally just pull it up. My TSA traveling number, I have it listed under a contact and I can show people or enter it in and copy and paste because sometimes with these websites, you only get two tries. So if you enter it in wrong, that's it. So having it maybe not necessarily written down because again, I'm not always home, but having it where I can pull it up and copy and paste it in is super super helpful and i've been at hotel check-ins things where they're like we don't have your reservation i was like oh snap and i looked at the app and i'm like shows it here they're like well what's your bonvoy number i was like that's a great question and i have to just pull it up and together i can show it to them i turn my phone around they can read it and we have a great time we work it out so there are a lot of aspects of google that can do a lot of things and like we said most of them are free and if you think about oh i pay microsoft $15 $15 a month and I pay Adobe 24 and I pay when you start thinking about all these little things that add up at the end of the year, you can sometimes look up to a thousand, 5,000. I've seen people with $10,000 bills to services that they use that they didn't have to spend money on if they had used Google. Um, now they kind of have a monopoly on things, so we won't talk about too much capitalism on this channel. Um, but what we always say is find what works for you. If you like Yahoo, use Yahoo. If you like using Outlook, dude as long as it's still kicking go for it i mean i still know some people that use outlook i don't know how they live but um it works for them if you want to use a traditional calendar if that works for you do it Mm -hmm. but as much as you eventually you will grow to the point where you're not hands-on all the time and you're gonna have a team and thinking that way is really important so when you get bigger how is your team going to access this information how are they mm-hmm. going to book your flights how are they going to do your social media for you mm-hmm. how can you make an easy transition for them because as heather said we've both been on the ends of hey we're a part of someone's team and we need information and mm-hmm. you don't want people coming to you asking where's this where's this that shit gets annoying you should be like it's on the spreadsheet it's on the spreadsheet i've said that a few times through my teeth isn't that right heather yeah, me too. To other people, to other people <laughs> not Heather. To other people, focus for tree. Right, like it, it is where I told you it was. But Google is fantastic for collaboration. You're able to share, in you know, in different capacities too. You can be like, okay, I only want this person in this email, or I don't care who sees this. So whoever has the link can see it. Um, like there, there are ways to keep yourself safe. But it's fantastic for, like she said, when you're starting to grow your team and you're needing to share all of this stuff it's all in one place. They can access all of it. And you don't have to answer all those questions because when you have a team, you shouldn't be having to answer all those questions. And so that's why I have the Zoom link in the calendar invites so that I don't have to be, you know, I don't have to be thinking about it before the recording actually happens. We just, we're just ready. You know, actually, like. I what? remember when you yelled at me once about. I yelled at you. Behind the booth. It was a tiny yell. I couldn't access some of the behind the booth stuff. So. It was a tiny yell. Um, so I was asking you, where is the link to find us on Spotify? Where's oh, yeah. this? Where's that? And she's just Three. like, I'm just going to make you a spreadsheet and I'm going to send it to you. And I was like, do we have a QR code? She's like, I will make one. And I was like, OK, I'm really sorry to bother you. But I had asked her over and over again and like not save the text message or I couldn't get it to work. And I'm really not that kind of person. So then she put it in a spreadsheet. She's like, in the spreadsheet. So even when we get prepared for these podcasts that we do, we have things where it tells us what our intro is, what topics we're doing. We have everything Mm -hmm. in spreadsheets. And I was like, wait, what do I say? She's like, it's in the spreadsheet. 
I'm like, right, sorry. And I'm like clicking away, trying to find, I'm like, where's the spreadsheet? I'm going to find it. I promise. <laughs> and I get all otherwise she won't learn. I'm not answering that question. <laughs> you... <laughs> I will learn. I will... She's treating me like a child. No, I will learn. I do remember that. I, yeah. I think I was also a little pissy that day too. too so I was like, <laughs> I'm like, it's in the shared document. Like, it always fucking is. Figure it out. <laughs> I'm the one that taught you that. I was the one that insisted that we do that. And for some reason, I couldn't use it. So, yeah, um, you were just having a day bad. and I was pissy. So, it was just like the perfect storm of figure it out, kid. <laughs> yeah. And Heather's always so kind and patient. So, it was weird that she was like that. I'm like, okay, I might have to buy her some chocolate. And then I'm all like bug eyed and scared. <laughs> I'm all like, like a puppy like okay don't kick me it's cool it's cool i'll figure it out so um, <laughs> we hope that you found this episode to be very helpful on uh, ways to save money in your business with using google uh, and a special thank you to nerdy girl podcast for sponsoring this episode we'll see you next time <laughs>